Hello, and welcome to the Center for Geotechnical Modeling here at UC Davis. This is an instructional video to make sure that the accelerometers that are used in your research project are in working order. You may find the ICP sensor signal conditioner in the drawer next to the shop computer. You will also need a black cord used to connect the conditioner to the analog input device, which gives data to the computer. The first step is to plug a cable from channel 1 on your ICP sensor signal conditioner to signal AI1 of the white analog input device. To check your signal conditioner's battery power, first plug in your accelerometer to the top left jack of the conditioner. Then click the power button in the middle to check if the gauge lies in the green. If it lies in the red or yellow, there is a problem and you should consult one of our associates. Now on the computer, open callonserver.vi or shortcut found on the desktop. This opens ResDAC, the computer data acquisition system used by CGM. A small window will open where you must press the run button, which is a white arrow located at the top left. Click the top bar and choose Start Fast Acquisition. It will then ask if you want to make sure you want to run it and say, Go ahead and run. It will then inform you that the program is capable of handling multiple inputs. Click OK at the next screen and it will prompt how many inputs you want. For the purpose of this test, you will use one input device. It then asks if you are using an M series device, to which, no, you are not. Then pick the .cl you wish to run. The one being used as of current is bn1.cl. Use the defaults given to you from the program by clicking OK. If a graph is now being displayed, click Show Graph on the upper right hand side of the screen. The arrow should turn green and show a running graph. You should first verify that there is no more than 30 millivolts of noise between the high and low peaks. You may then test your accelerometer by gently tapping on it to verify a spike in the graph for each tap. If your tapping does not yield a signal, then there is something wrong. The problem could stem from a number of issues including a broken accelerometer, improper setup of ResDAC, and or improper setup of inputs. To check another accelerometer, simply unplug the current accelerometer and plug in the new one in the same port of the ICP signal conditioner. After you are done testing your accelerometers, please remember to turn off the ICP signal conditioner. Thank you and we wish you the best of luck with the rest of your research.